Uh, John and I are finishing this morning uh, in our looking at the first chapter of the book of James. Uh, it's been a great time down here at Fort Fisher uh, with the ocean looking good, the weather being nice, and uh, we just sort of want to conclude this series out of the first chapter of James uh, with an admonition and with a direction. Now this is bread from the beach today, and we are looking at verse 12, chapter 1 of the book of James. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. I think one of the things that John and I have experienced in, in having Lacey down here and maybe getting to know him a little bit is that he's on a journey. God's taking him somewhere and God's showing him things. John's showing him, as, as Lacey said, he showed him the woman he's going to marry. So he's showing him things along the journey. And this passage simply says that if we will persevere in the trials that we are experiencing, that if we'll persevere in those trials, when we stand the test, that we will then receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love Him. So the key through this journey is to remember what uh, the writer of, of uh, Revelation was trying to speak to the church at Ephesus, the words that Jesus was sending to the church at Ephesus when He simply said, you guys have done great things. You've been through a lot of stuff. You've you ferreted out the false teachers and so on. But this one thing you lack, he said, and that one thing is you've lost your first love. So the challenge for us in the journey is to always remember that Jesus is our first love. Not the beauty of this world, not the people we run into, not the things that we create, but Jesus is our first love. And maintaining that first love positions us then to be able to receive all that God has for us as we journey back to the house. And the truth of the matter is, that's where we're headed. We're trying to get home to the house and spend all eternity with our Father. And all of these things God has promised to us, the key to walking in those promises is maintaining Jesus as our first love. Above all else that we see, he is our first love. And that crown of life has been talked about, debated in so many ways. But for me, the crown of life is to be able to walk in the blessing of God, to be able to become what He created us to be, to be available to Him and used by Him in all circumstances. The crown is to be able to, out of our love for Christ, manifest His presence everywhere we are, to share His love with the people around us, to be free then, to be our Father's children and reflect our Father's nature so that others will be drawn to Him through Christ Jesus. That's an incredible challenge, but it's also an incredible blessing. This is Bread from the Beach. Be blessed.